Hey guys, we got 61 year old Armando from Texas. He's already had two back surgeries and he's trying to avoid the third. He was in a bad boating accident years ago and broke his back. He has terrible balance, knee problems, tinnitus, and he even slipped on some stairs again and hurt himself again. You can see his range of motion here, pretty bad. Terrible balance, look at he can't even stand up. He can't squat, he can't stand on his legs for more than a couple minutes or his legs are gonna twitch. Here are his x-rays, his x-rays have lots of arthritis, we adjusted him. Uh, is that a little different than you've had before? Yeah, like I've never had him work on my neck. Uh, how'd you do this weekend? A lot better. A lot better. A lot better. What I've learned about myself, don't let myself get into too much trouble as far as pain goes. As soon as I feel it, do something about it. In my case, is that the two things that I'm, I've learned to do is that basically, in, in my case, what works for me is lean up against the wall and I've learned to... Remind himself how to have better posture. Exactly. I don't worry too much about this because that's not the point. The point is just go ahead and make contact down here and that relieves the tightness and the pain that, that's gonna develop if I, if I don't do anything about it. So the thing I love about what he just said, proactive. He's being proactive about his pain. We've taught him a bunch of things and he's taking those things, he's learning from them and he's utilizing those, those techniques to control his own pain. I call it the home run moment. He's starting to get it already. Today we're gonna to add the Atlas adjustment. Anything else you wanna add? Um, the other thing for me, since I'm short, using that little box step, you know, when I'm sitting down, that's another one where if I'm gonna, you know, if I start feeling a little tightness, I'm really amazed at the fact that just having my feet on that thing makes it go away in no yeah. time. Uh, the problem is that he's a midget. Yeah. And being a midget, he has problems with the way our- um, Most chairs. Most chairs. And because his legs are so short, he can't reach the ground. So we gave him a stoop and it has changed his world. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna to have to work on is just going ahead and being able to like say, say walk 100 feet without feeling anything. And then, you know, then once I do that for a while, then we're able to go to 150 feet and then go 200 and then go one side of the block and then, you know, eventually work on, on going he around. He is explaining my concept of crawl before you walk, walk before you run. Mm -hmm. And so my concept here is to teach people to take two steps without pain, yeah. then three steps without pain, yeah. and then four, and then you just build you up. Right. And then once you do that, guess what? The brain works at the computations from get you from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. But you have to take one step yeah. at a time. So mm -hmm. this man is telling you exactly what we want to understand. You guys want to understand is that it just takes time, but you have to put the time in to learn yeah. those steps. Yeah. So Atlas adjustment today. Mm -hmm. This is going to be different than the other ones. It's the top bone of your neck. Well, I felt that in this shoulder. <laughs> okay, drop your head. What I'm feeling now is more muscle fatigue from just simply walking in a different way and standing in a different way. That I'm feeling different. I'm feeling like, I hate to use the word strain, but I guess it is a strain not a pain but a strain but it's just simply for the fact that you know i know i'm i'm standing differently now you know i'm walking differently now and i think i'm incorporating muscles that probably haven't used as much as i was before the best part about this is i always say any change is a good change and he's feeling change every single day yeah. muscles are changing he's adapting and we've added the balance board to him right. and so he's just he's working it he's getting better and i love to see i love to see how he's changing Good. Yeah, I'm uh, working a little bit different on you right mm -hmm. now because um, your atlas again is hidden in there. Mm -hmm. So I think I got a better shot at today. I think it was better. Yeah, I think so. To break it down, I look at it that, that you're dealing with cause. Well, pretty much everybody I've dealt with has dealt with effect. You know, like tell me to wear those kind of shoes to compensate for this and, and do this for that. And, you know. But the, you couldn't send it better myself. Think about how much more time I spend with you compared to other doctors. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, night and day different. I mean, that, that's where I could see it. Yeah. Where I mean, if anything, as soon as I get in the office, they're trying to get, get me out as, exactly. as quick as they can. And it's about changing not only the body, but the mind. Yeah. Okay, I wanna get this Alice again. Let's get this freaking Alice again. Good. Yeah, right through that Alice. Okay. Just relax here. We have this. Good. Good. Put it right, pull it under your butt more, a little more under your butt, so it's lower. 
There you go. Right there, good. And go back. Yeah. How painful is this? It's just tight. Just tight? Yeah. Good. Look, he can't even put his shoulders on the ground. Your shoulders nope. on the ground, huh? Uh -uh. Yeah, and your feet are barely on the ground. So what we're doing here, guys, is not, uh, this stretch is not to make him better. It's just to stretch out the scar tissue that keeps him from standing up straight. I actually don't like this position a little bit. I want you to scoot down towards your feet more. I want too far yeah, up. Yeah, too far up on it. Get your butt more on the ground of it. Yeah. Right there. Let's take a look at that now. Okay. Now let's go back. That seems a little bit better. I want you to feel it in your low back. Okay. Good. That looks pretty good. See that? Yeah, that looks better. Now the, the pivot points right here. You're getting better on that thing. And I would have to sit in the chair, roll myself to the bathroom, because I, I just couldn't, you know, stand up to do it. And uh, now I can actually like get up and walk to the bathroom. Just the fact that you can do normal things yeah. and feel like a normal person, mm -hmm. you don't have to rely on somebody else. Right. Okay, let's work on this, Alice. And let's see if you can feel what I'm doing now, mm -hmm. since you know what I'm thinking. So here's your Alice, and that's this bone right here. And so I'm going to turn it like this. So you can feel it turn? Yep. That's what I'm doing right there. Wow. Yeah, you can feel it. There we go. It's like when you watch the other videos, you'll be like, why is there so much more noise? Mm -hmm. Yours is just very difficult to adjust. See, right, see, right. Small window, right there. Did your shoulders hurt after yesterday? I adjusted those yes, shoulders. Yes, it did. Yeah, th this one especially. Not hurt. But, I, but I have an injury here, so this one. Uh, you have an injury? Gotcha. Yeah. And she lives locally. Yeah, and the, the husband explained how how often he comes by when they're yeah, in yeah, town yeah, and yeah. all that. But they <clears throat> live locally, and they don't yeah. know nearly as much as you guys already in two weeks. Mm -hmm. We're gonna adjust the chair. We haven't done this for a while. Adjust your shoulders, the, the lower neck. Can you believe only one more day left after this? Yeah, I'm trying to soak it all in. That's crazy, right? Bend your elbow. Bend your elbow. Yeah. Good. 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 You okay? Yeah. There you go, Mike. We're gonna work on this dizziness a little bit. Look at him. Yeah. There you go. God dang. That boy's looking good. Yeah, looking good. Still a little too fast. But yeah. he's doing a lot, hell of a lot better than he was. Hell of a lot better. I'm gonna get these elbows adjusted a little bit here. Okay. Relax. Huh? That's good. There you go. Anyways. What I'm noticing for myself is just simply the fact that now I know the keys. As far as as soon as I start feeling something, stop right there. Right, that was why I was getting myself in trouble. Where I was waiting till like I was like I couldn't breathe, and then I was doing it. But now, as soon as I do it, I do I do the. Yeah, it's, it's way easier and, yeah. to catch yourself. Even yeah. like even when I get a small headache, it's yeah. like I can immediately catch it. Right. I can <laughs> take control. It's crazy. Of it. yeah. and, and doing this all the time. Stretching's a waste of time. Yeah. Stretching's a waste of time. And you're like, what? Yeah, I could see in your face like, huh? I do it every morning. <laughs> and I'm like, when you get your body healthy when it starts having less pain guess what happens yeah you don't need to stretch right. why because your muscles aren't tight anymore yeah and you're way more flexible and you've been stretching for years yet you're still not flexible yeah. Yeah. oh yeah and now you're more flexible yeah. why yeah. because I've taken I fixed the problem I fixed yeah. the cause right right I just love that these two week plans it comes together I've learned a lot in these two weeks is that the fact is I've learned how to listen to my body a lot more don't let myself get in trouble where I was letting myself my pain get too far it was taking too long to recover after that. Now I've learned to just go ahead and basically do it as, as soon as I feel something, stop, correct myself, correct my posture, yeah. and, and that makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, and correcting your posture is a set way of doing things right. here. We've taught you how to do it, right? Right. Good. And so let's give us some kind of percentage. How much better are you over this? Oh, it's a, like a 180 for me. 180. It makes, compared to where I was two weeks ago. Yeah. I mean, I, I had to have a cane with me. Now I don't. Yeah. I haven't used it since those days. I haven't used it. I forgot he got rid of the cane. That's right. And so I told him not to use it because he kept using it as a uh, crutch. As a tripod, basically. As a tripod, and it kept taking his body further and further out of alignment. Right sciatica. You yep. said you've had this pain for a long time. Been going to chiropractors, now. and they've helped minimally, but yeah. how much better is it now? Oh, yeah. I don't I don't feel it at all. My hip good. flexor and all that, all that is going away. Yeah. It's all going away. Where the, Now that I'm walking the right way, and I, you know my posture is a hell of a lot better, mm -hmm. that all those little tweaks, all these little uh, 
pain that I had to yeah. my calf, my calf. Right, right, yeah. And how about getting out of bed in the morning too? Yeah, a lot better. Because what I used to do, my routine was where got up, you know, laid back down, went ahead and, and did my stretches while I was in bed. And now what I did, instead of doing that, I get up and go sit in the chair. In my case, I have to use a little stool to bring my feet up uh, because I'm short-legged. And within five minutes, the little tightness that I have is gone. You've been stretching for how many years? No, uh, for the last 10 years. 10 years, right? And so all you guys out there, and I say this all the time, nobody listens to me, but all, I, all that stretching has got you nowhere. No. In two weeks, all I do is I sit your ass in a chair properly and you feel better than all that stretching. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's not work harder, it's work smarter. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's still, every once in a while, I guess, but it's more fatigue. It's not, uh, it's not anything else, it's just muscle fatigue is mm -hmm. what I feel. Mm -hmm. One last thing is how about your balance? Oh. <laughs> I can stand here talking to you. <laughs> that was an issue when you first showed up. Yeah. You said balance was an issue. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't I had to grab onto something or make sure something was close by for me to grab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And anyway, I think we have a video on this which I hope I post on there. I forget if I'll edit it out or edit it in. But there was a time when he used to go we told him to stand up straight and stand at with good posture and he'd fall back. Yeah. He'd be like this the whole time. Yeah. And look at he stands here, he's not even falling. Yeah. And what we found for him is again I call it the um, health combination. And so his health combination so far is adjusting him in the chair. He does the best with this one. Huh? Yeah. He likes his combination adjustment. He does the best. He holds his adjustment the best. He moves the best after this. Oh, good. Good. And actually, I'm walking with no pain. Yeah, no pain. Yeah. So you guys may think, well, he's not moving very fast, but this is so much more efficient and yes. no pain. My brother was talking about how I used to walk around with my arms flailing all over the yep, place. Yeah, all over the place. And I was going falling apart. Yeah, he couldn't even walk in the hall without grabbing the, the yep. counter. How much pain in your back there, sir? None. Any pain there in your back? No. Pretty sexy. Yeah, but I'm not falling all over the place. Yeah, not falling all over the place. Good balance. I want to thank you. Yeah, I know. It's, it's been a pleasure yeah. working with you. And I always enjoy this uh, last day with my, my two-weekers because They've learned a lot and they've come a long ways and it's just, it's just as enjoyable for them as it's for me.